first one being first, Stella 22 to Galcat to 154 stroke to Vicky's on the back. And that's the opening salvo for the Kuta Classic, Richard's Bayes Kiba, St. Lucia's Kiba Club, Kuta Classic 2024. You guys can see the light conditions are still very low but we can see the back line and the surf break clearly with the naked eye they aren't getting up to speed i don't know how many boats they've got to get through the surf zone safely today And you're on a standing east. Very small waves. Beautiful launch. And there it goes out of focus. I zoomed too much. Just not enough light yet. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Wizard, the next one on the launch pad. Let's see if we can get a better focus there of Wizard. Yes, we got him almost nice and focused. 660 butt cat 2144 stroke Suzuki's on the back that's a little powerhouse the butt cat XL so it's got outbounds on it can't even see who's the skipper today probably young Benny van Aswegen more knife on us, we sorry. Looks like Morna, yes, he's running north. Looks like I should move north, more north. It's just outside my zoom range for this light condition. Beautiful launch. Motors worked hard, got through it quite safely. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. 19 foot 6 Sea Cat with two 104 stroke Mercury's on the back. Nice push there by Wiseman. It's coming up the channel. The 800 Sea Cats, I've got, now got used to the smaller Sea Cats very unfamiliar with them Yaku is a very positive skipper he approaches the back break on the sandbank here with confidence very nice uh, easy launch um, although there's a little back brake standing up, that's nothing to punch for the 19 foot boats here. And he saw his gap, he's running for it. He's closing up in front of him, he's slowing down, waiting for it to break and dissipate. And he's going to punch the foamy right over it, into the gap. Ugly one standing up on his right hand side, but he's got it right in front of it. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. That's Maverick being pushed. I believe Maverick has been sold. We'll find out, work through all the St. Lucia rumors as we go along. Should have seen the main camera. Let's see if I can still work that one in. 
this one. There we go. We do get things done on the fly. Mavericks on the speed. He has to turn this parallel in front of a, a nice foamy, turn around in time. All of a sudden the back brake in the rose bowl is starting to act up. But they had made a nice flat again. Josh is turning around again. Pushing through. Getting to the other side. Well done, Josh. Dylan is the deckhand. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. I can't catch that boat's name. But it's being pushed. Wiseman pushed them hard this morning. You can see over the opposite bank how it's been scoured away by the the east and break the channel the boat without the name is coming north I'm gonna get punishment in the comments but anyway it's probably a cozy cat by the look of the nose a nice place to scoop water it's got a nice water scoop in front of the the forward control probably the anchor edge like if there's two seats so it's more than just the anchorage it's on the power just so that I can't read the name We've got his rhythm right he's gonna get run into a gap although it's closing up from the south onto his shoulder it's not going to be a problem from it for him. He pushes right through and the back brake is closing up for him. That is going to be ugly. He's going to have to hit that one. Well done. Let's just go back and watch this again. This was amazing. There was no time for the skipper to turn around on this one. And he smacks it right center. And look how that ace glider climbs up. And then the butt goes in at him. And it um, haunches on the butt. Look there. Ah. Nobody fell off. That was amazing. That nobody fell off there. That's perfectly executed. One more. Everybody is still standing. No, it looks like somebody fell down. I can't see. They're not reaching to help somebody get up. So everybody is still standing. Well done, that was a difficult one, you handled it well, like a professional, happy hunting, Enjoy the, the next one on the launch pad, I think it's a 19 foot mono, I just can't, oh, it's turning sideways in the sidewash, as Wiseman was putting pressure, I don't think you're going to turn it like that, yes, look at that poor Sian. he grabs it by the nose and he turns, swings it around, well done and they have to get Krynes's nose over again as they go over the the lip there into the shore break um, to the monohull stern sideways Krynes being pushed that's a nice straight push into the shore dump Wiseman keeps a, gives him a punch you can see that fluke jumping up and down there I think oh, that's also two 100 four strokes Suzuki's. Let's see if I can zoom in enough. Nope. Yeah, two 100 four strokes Suzuki's. Jim Bodla arriving. Over there. Grinus decided it's going into the history 
don't know how far he's going to run before he's going to turn around. It's look like if he's completing his turn, making a tight turn just before he run onto the sandbank over there. Up the channel has been the wife team. Is this youngster also there? I can't see him. I don't know if they've got a youngster with them. I don't think so. Oops. That's a little bit of a bumpy right, even for a deep V. The back brake is acting. Backbreak is acting up here on the sandbar. But Krynus has got his line right. Almost, <laughs> Mrs. Krynus almost departed there from the boat. She was almost ejected. He's got a nice cap there, closing up suddenly in front of him and he's turning sideways in front of it and he's running he's got in front of it over the the lip of the break in time happy hunting and enjoy here the comes the, the man of the moment crosscut is turning sideways again on the launch pad <laughs> and that is a push is crosscut gonna stay straight yes Wiseman runs with him Nico's trim and tilt this morning I can't see who's the extra person and there's Nico taking his position Donnie bringing the boat yo he's running for the sandbank what you gonna do at the sandbank he, no he's standing tight before the sandbank you forgot that is 285 two stroke your mask on the back there Beatrice and that's Donnie skipping he's coming through the rapids up the channel Gonna go right through Rose Bowl and it's closing up in front of him. Nico, don't turn. We don't need surfing lessons today, yes. Wait for it. Now you can punch the foamy. Oh my lord, look at that! And he's turning into it. He took it on the shoulder. I can't believe that. Nico, reverse back for us. Let's just get a good look at what happened here. Okay, clearly Nico is turning in the wrong way then, and then he starts turning in the right way. And that wave is huge, and the motors is locked to the starboard side. Look at those motors. Look how they're locked. The splash over, land on the other side, and ready to rock and roll. Well done. Well saved, Nico. Well saved. I can't believe that Acecraft. And it's closing up in front of Nico. Nico is turning south. He's running south. Batman's luck. If it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have had a channel. Murphy. Murphy and Nico are friends. Well, Murphy and me are friends. Poor Nico. Uh, Donnie. Donnie, well done. You've done it very well today. I thought you were going to turn in front of that foamy, my friend. Took it broadside on the shoulder and the Acecraft handled it very, very, very well. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Next one on the launch pants, Legacy 830 Carry Cat. Rumor has it that that company bought out, a, bought over the boat. They didn't bought out Maverick, they just bought over the boat, Maverick. We'll see how it plays out. And I'll keep you guys posted. And that's the push for Legacy. Zahn has proven to be a very competent skipper here. But as he's gaining experience, he's changing his, his skipping style a lot. For the better, of course. He's 
going down the channel into the estuary and running the boat is right that 25% of the four strokes that they lose when the four strokes are run in the choke is sometimes needed and today is one of those days it's very calm at the moment here in front of the estuary mouth but it picks up suddenly as we saw with a cross cut once again that the guy is a wave magnet anyway legacy coming nicely up the channel slowing down here in the rapids where the outgoing tide uh, the outgoing flow and the incoming tide meets each other and the back brake is uh, one big wall of water at the moment and then it breaks and it opens a flat but that could be very deceiving but I think his honor's got it right he's into the gap he's pushing through he's out of the back line he's in the open ocean happy hunting enjoy the day the launch site is becoming a spectator sport and we welcome all the spectators um, it's very 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 comforting to see that the people get up early in the morning to come and see the launches the banks here the sand dunes here is lined with the spectators and Wiseman is explaining the skipper the what angle to take and what to watch out for and that is uh, the general atmosphere here at St. Lucia H3 launch site this morning the next one on the launch pad is to play that is an interesting way to the right to play I would have used the the numeric too but you used the what the hell do you call that now the Roman and numeric too it is to play eh yeah to play I've got no stats on that boat it's the first time that I've seen it that I can see the size of the motors could be 90s could even be smaller than 90s and that is to play turning around coming up the channel again small vessel the break here in the rapids is even a hindrance for him is hanging there in the channel just before the rapids he's looking south what the hell are you going to do south my friend there's a sandbank Wiseman explain to you which way to go what you going to do on the sandbank oh he stays in the channel ok sorry I just saw the jeep Motors are still trimmed up pretty much high. Gonna make for a very nice light, nose light boat. Yes, he's on that steering wheel. It's because the one motor is not trimmed down. You don't have a lot of power or steering, my friend. Why does this always happen on the live? Don't try and turn. You don't have the power to turn. Your one motor is up. Your one motor is trimmed up. Don't try and turn, you have to face them. 
run, 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 don't turn, run, 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 run. Open up that one motor. You don't have time to think there, my friend. Open it up. Get behind the back line. You can sort out the trim now, now. Oh, my lordy me. Oh, he's made it through. Guys, I just want to look at something. Yeah, the two motors was almost trim equal. Let's see where that other motor start trimming up. Definitely, look, the motors are equal trimmed down. There's no one motor trimming up here. Look, definitely equal trim down. Look, 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 look. Both motors still trim down equal. There's no problem there. But over here, the motor starts trimming up. You guys saw that. The motor starts trimming up. Now look carefully when this motor trims up a little bit more. We can see it trim up a little bit more. Right, 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 over there. Now where's the skipper's hand? Is it on the throttle? I couldn't see. Anyway, all swells that end well, they went fishing onto the next boat. Guys, you must see to play flying back after the day's fishing. There was nothing wrong with the motors on the way back. He was flying, flying back. Wave down, sir, the next one on the launch pad, 9.30, Yelt, uh, Batcat. 200 four stroke Suzuki's on the back they're about a year old now Leon Stein is the skipper and him and that um, 9.3 meter game fisher has got a symbiotic relationship or is it now a sport fisher is it a game fisher or a sport fisher they understand each other Leon is going uh, down the channel warming his motors up he definitely needs that extra 25 percent on the other side of the choke that he gets on the outside of the choke if you get a gap here today you take it you don't farfo. Don't fuck around and find out. Push! Is um, Wiseman going to enter Asterix or is he going to let Asterix hang around there? Free Spirit 1 over my shoulder arriving. Nope, he's going to... Asterix is going to wait for Wave Dancer to come. Wave Dancer is coming on to speed. He's going to do us a nice flyby here. slowing down for the rapids that is a very slow flyby captain and your one port is open your splash overs is going to be very 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 wet Andre is sitting there totally relaxed yeah you look faster you don't know why you'll be ejected Leon got a beautiful cap, he moves into the gap and it closes on his shoulder very quickly but he's right through it, happy hunting, enjoy the day. Oh no, the mid brake has moved, oh, the back brake has moved. Hey, he's going over the back line. And Asterix is upon us, 21 foot V-cat by tri boating to 104 stroke Suzuki's on the back, Mons. Foster, the charter fisher owner and skipper of Asterix Charter Fishing in St. Lucia. Moving slowly towards 
the mid brake, back brake on the sandbank. He's got a cab. So far, so good. Oops, it's catching up with him. He's doing what Crosscut did. Very, very experienced history mouth skipper right there. Right through the gap. Well done, Mons. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Jim Botla. I think that's a 22 foot. Yalcat. And it's got two 115 Yamahas on the back. It could be a 21 foot. It's difficult to say with the Yalcats if you don't work with them on a daily basis. And Jim Botla is coming up the channel. Die Villa Quat, Kat, apparently in Swazi, if I remember all the directions correct. In Botla, in Botla, not Jim Botla. I will get it right one of these days. It's pushing hard to get into the back break. Currently it's a back break on the sandbar. There's the one closing up in front of him. What is he going to do with it? He might just get in front of it. He's got in front of it. Well done. And he's pushing hard to get through the back break. And he's in the open ocean. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. There's a cat with no name. I don't know if that is probably a cozy cat. to 100 four stroke Yamaha's he's turning in to come up the channel keeping the boat boat's nose high slowing down for the rapids he's probably gonna make sure that he gets his timing right I see some debris floating here in the channel. I can't see if it's big enough to be of any concern, but it looks like if it's coming out of the channel. If he keeps that line, he would miss, miss the debris. Slowing down, he's waiting for the gap. He found his gap. I think he, that correction he made there was for the debris. And that was just enough time for the back brake to close up in front of him. He has to wait for it to dissipate. Now he's going to punch the foamy. It's not a very big deal. He's up and over on the foamy. He found his line. He's running for the back line. Oh. He's moving in to the saddle. He's now running for the back line. Happy hunt on his heels. is five star. Bar it with a 660 butt cat. Two 104 stroke Yamaha's on the back. A 660 XL. The same as Wizard. A little bit smaller and lighter steering control. But the one wonders if those two 100s is enough, but Barrent has proven to us he can handle the boat, whether the motors is enough or not. So happy hunting, enjoy the day. Not through the back brake quite yet, there's he over the back line, happy hunting, enjoy the day. That's ocean commotion floating. 9 meter carry cat, 200 V6 4 stroke Suzuki's on the back, Stuart Worthington the skipper.
so far Ocean Commotion is the only charter fishing that does live online bookings. I'll pop the link here in the card. I must remember to tell Charlize to do it. And Ocean Commotion stewards got her on the plane. Heavy lady, 3.25 meters wide and weighing in at around about 3 tons or just over 3 tons. It depends on which internet statistics you be Stewart slowing down he was in a difficult position here you can watch yesterday's video he floated it right into the next gully with a sidewash and then he punched it through He's waiting for that foamy to come through to see what that little dump is going to do to him Another one standing up behind that one. Is he going to punch it now? Three spirit is already on my shoulder in the channel. turning south he found his line perfect launch once again Mr. Worthington happy hunting enjoy the day butt cat to 204 strokes Suzuki's on the back And he's turning sharp in front of that back brake or mid brake or whatever brake it is on the sandbar. Coming back into the channel. Keeping the boat out of convertation. Working the throttles. Oh, he filled that boat with water there. to kick forward so the water can get to the back of the boat stirring again Spirit 2 guys, charter fishing and whale watching. Yeah, it's St. Lisha Estuary. Whale watching starts the first week in June. Young Captain Sean Mansfield, excellent fisherman, excellent skipper. Knows how to ride a boat. He's still got the energy to work the steering hard to turn it around. And he saw his line, he's going to take it 45 to the south Using the speed of that uh, butt cat Turning northeast Well done Sean, happy hunting, enjoy the day Right behind him is Walter on Free Spirit Beautiful sunrise, 830 carry cat to 204 strokes Suzuki's on the back Walter running for mid break He's right through it. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. That's Johan Langer being pushed. 22.06 King Cat by Z Craft 2, 154 strokes. Suzuki's on the back. Johan says he's going to replace them with 150 Yamaha's. He doesn't like the punch, the Suzuki's back. He says it's a little bit too little. The 
if it's on the if it's on the plane it, it does have speed but it's a little bit slow out of the out of the gates Keeping it on the plane, coming into the rapids. Got a nice gap into the rapids. Not going to be too bumpy right. Slowing down. Got huge outriggers there. Jeez. You're going to fly a spread behind the boat. Tilts is set very, very lightly on that beach kit. Um, he wants to keep the boat still with the reverse, and the motor is lifting up. Holding it nice and steady. Oh, there's the other people. I thought there were more people on the vessel. They're sitting down there in front of the the center console. So that boat has got four people aboard on board. He's running for the mid break on the sandbank. He's going to eat it bad. Yeah! <laughs> nice action footage there you on thank you very much happy hunting enjoy the day i think that's the last no 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 wait 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 you can't go anywhere we have to do the return videos is on the second one on the back line the first one we missed and he's already into the back line he's got extra flags on there so he's got a very happy crew He's into the back line, he's over the sandbag, he's holding it back. They washed through. He's picking up speed, not yet. Oh, look at that one, back one, big one on his back. He decided to make a run for it. He's committed. Well done, he's on. Okay, and that is a cross cut running nice and proud there. Eh? He's making his way into the back brake. Can't really see where the sandbank is. The water is nice and high. Well, there's no sandbank. Either one of the two is into the gully. Nicely done, cross cut. He's slowing down. He's holding back. He's going to jump that one. That's also a smooth one. He's nice on speed. He's coming in hot. Oh, yeah. Well done. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. I can't see the name of the boat. He's hanging back behind that curler. Coming straight for us. Real McCoy by the looks of things. Yes, it's Real McCoy. Well done. Right, is that coming back? Is that five star? It could be. Looks like five star.
coming in hot. That's a nice beach. And this is the catches of Five Star. Next one in the waves is a Krynes. I think he's coming in on me. Hey, you must turn a little bit to the left, my friend. We need to come parallel park it here, on Yo, well done. And that is Monson Asterix returning. He's already entering the back line. Where's my glasses? I, I can't see what Monson's doing. That's not much better. There's a big one standing up in the path of the gully there. And he's in the back line. Whoa! Is that Mons? No, that is not Mons. I don't know that boat's name. That is Asterix. The famous Acecraft getting back on the trailer. Everything is old school about this boat. It's probably in Botla. You can't see from here. Turning into the beach coming parallel 90 degree to the beach I don't think they are ready to come in yet Beatrice that could be wave dancer coming there looks like it Wavelancer looks like the next one on the lineup to come back. Yes, wave dancer on the way back. They are disappearing between the sets there. Wave dancer now sticking out as it enters the gully. Leon. And Botla hanging back there. Some big sets to work through. But like keeping it on the plane, it's very shallow over there. And he's coming in hot. Well done! One life live it. This morning I knew all the specs on that boat. Now I forgot it. That's two 104 strokes on the back of a 19.6 Sea Cat. There you go. Oh 
Until I enter the back line, no not yet, just cross the color line, sorry. Very confusing. I'm zoomed in on the boat, you're too far away. <laughs> Tala hanging back. Very shallow in this last 50 meters. If he doesn't speed up now, he's not going to get the momentum to get onto the beach. And he's on the plane. Well done. 800 Sika to 204 strokes Suzuki's. So I come up on us or come on the boat. This is the ice slider that we have so easy to launch. He is on the boat. Beautiful. Amazing race. Two play returning. Getting into the back break. He's got a nice gap that he's running in but he's turning sideways to get behind the that curler, he needs to water to fill the gully. He's basically coming straight on us. Now he's going towards Wiseman. Get it onto speed. Both motors are running now. Yo! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Flight to Play. Buckle up, keep your seats in the upright position, and enjoy the ride. Thank you for flying Flight 2 Play. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's uh, Free Spirit 2 coming back. 8.3 meter butt cat to 204 stroke. Suzuki's on the back. Captain Sean Mansfield. Or skipper Sean Mansfield, just as you like. He chose his color that he's going to follow into the gully. Big one following him on his tail. He's waiting for the beach to fill up with water. He's getting out in front of that big one. He's gonna jump. A nice over. Softly onto the beach. Well done, Sean. Look at these Tirados. Asian commotion coming in hot. Look at that beautiful glide over the waves. Pass up, pass up, pass up! Beautiful. Sorry, you lack. Look at Asian commotion. There are a lot of youngsters with all the kutas. That fish is going to swim. It's on its way back to the ocean. <laughs> Absolutely. Free Spirit 1, not happy with the lineup. It's resetting. 
Walter is trying to find a killer to come with into the gully. Actually, it lost a hat. Poseidon Tex. Okay, the 9 meter carry cat is coming back, it's on the plane. It's running into the behind that curler. Still sideways between them. Means that they're very on top of each other when they come in sideways like that. He's turning 90 degrees to the beach. There's a huge one on his backside. But he's got distance between him and the one on the back. Very nice entry into the gully. Walter, although it didn't look like it from this angle. That one is pushing him, he's going to get in front of it. Push it, Walter, push it! Nicely done! Fishmaster returning. I think Fishmeister is a 19 foot Hellcat. Not sure. Falling back. Has to outrun that one on his backside. He's got the speed. He's catching up with the one in front of him, but the one is far behind. That's a nice scooter there, right there. Baie prachtig, dankie man. Johan Lange, F2206, I don't know, he hasn't named the boat yet. So we just call it F2206. It's coming in hot. He's got some nice flats in front of him. There's a curler standing up. Is he going to get over it or is he going to stay behind it? I can't see. The water is too dirty. He slowed down and I lost him in the viewfinder. He's holding the ace back on speed. Oh. Legacy is somewhere over there. I know you guys are going to... There you go. I thought you weren't going to believe me. The surf is acting up again. Wizard 660 Bud Cat 2144 stroke Suzuki's on the back. That's it, Mornay. Beautiful.